Hello viewers, this is Charles and this is the next in my series Learn Programming and Game Development with Lua. In this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how to install Love2D, the game framework, on Windows 11. So let's get started. I've opened a new window in Google Chrome and I'm going to search for the Love framework, Love2D should do the trick. And I'm going to navigate to love2d.org so I can download the installer. And here we are on the love2d.org website. So the next thing I'm going to do is to download the 64-bit installer. I'm going to switch desktops and then I'm going to install it. Double click on the installer. Say yes to everything. Scroll to the bottom, click I agree. You're not going to get very far if you don't. It's going to install it to program files, which is pretty much the standard for Windows. And we'll let it create a new start menu folder. That should be installed. But there's one other thing that's very useful to do. I also want to be able to run the Love2D game framework from a command line. To do that, I need to add Love2D onto the system path. I'm going to press the Windows key and then type system environment. And you can see edit the system environment variables is suggested and that's exactly what I want. On the system properties, I then need to click on environment variables. And then we're going to scroll down under the system ones, which will install it for all users. I'm going to click edit and then I'm going to click New, and then I'm going to click Browse, and then I'm going to browse to Program Files Love Folder. Now the Program Files Love Folder is a flat folder which has the binaries in it, and that's what we need. So, there's Program Files, scroll down a bit. I'll pull the window up so we can see the OK button. And here we go, that's what we need. Click OK, click OK, click OK and click OK. To test that this works, I need to open a terminal window. I'm going to use PowerShell for this, so I'm going to simply go... In fact, I'm using PowerShell 7. Um, let's just put this... Let's just put this window up here. So now if I type love double dash version, it should come back with the version number. And you can see it does. And if I simply type love with no version, it should run the default game. And you can see it did. So Love is now correctly installed and available from the command line. Let's close that window. Now I'm going to open Zero Brain Studio and write a Hello World program for the Love 2D game framework. I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to save it to my D drive. I have a YouTube folder and that's the perfect place to put it. So let's go save as. Then I want to go to my D drive. So let's just go to PC, D, YouTube, Programming and Game Development. And I think we need a new folder. So let's have a new folder. Let's call this Love 2D Install. And we're going to call this I'm going to call it main.lur, and the reason I'm going to call it main.lur is main.lur is the entry point for a love game. And if you dragged the folder onto a shortcut to love.x, then it will run the game. I'm now going to write a simple Hello World program with the Love2D game framework. And the way we do that is first we need to implement the callback function to actually draw to the screen. And the way we do that is to type function, then love, then dot. The dot operator allows us to access functions in the love package, and the one we need is draw and then return. I'm now going to print hello world to the screen. And the way I do that is to type love, then graphics, then print, then the text in double quotes. So hello world. And then the coordinate where I want it to be on the screen. So I'm going to just put 300 by 400, which should put it somewhere inside the screen. And then I'm going to go end. 
Now to run this, I need to actually tell Zero Brain Studio that this is a Love 2D project. And the way I do that is I go to Project, then Lure Interpreter, and I need to switch it to Love. So let's do that there. Now I can run it by clicking on the Run button. And you can see we come up with an interpreter error, and that's simply because it doesn't have the correct pro project folder, but it's offering to switch it to me automatically, and that's exactly what I need. So we'll go yes. And there you have it. We've printed Hello World to the screen. Now, if I want to run this from the command line, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to go to my project and I'm going to open a terminal here, which will open PowerShell 7. So this I'm using the Windows terminal. I could use PowerShell Direct, it doesn't make any difference. The first thing I need to do though is to find out what's in this file, just to check. So it should just be main.lu, and you can see that is the case. Let's just check everything's working by going love version, so that's working. Now this won't run, from here. I can't go love main.lu. You can see what happens as I get an error message. And that's because it's expecting a folder with main.lu in it, not main.lu itself. So what we need to do is to go up a level. So we'll go set location double dot backslash and that will go up one level and then we're going to go get child item again to check and this time if I go love and then type now I'm using autocomplete by pressing the tab key there in fact I'll do that again so if I simply start typing L in fact I only need L in this case because the other ones are prefixed with numbers and then press the tab key it's autocomplete you can see we get the same result as when we ran the program from within Zero Brain Studio. At this point, I perhaps ought to explain why I'm using PowerShell, not Command Prompt. And that, that's simply because PowerShell is Microsoft's newer command line tool. And it's much more powerful than the Command Prompt and has the advantage that it's actually cross-platform. So you can actually download and install PowerShell on obviously on Windows, but also on Mac OS and Linux, which is kind of quite interesting. I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please click on the like and subscribe buttons. Have a great day.